life sciences, like everybody else, is uh, obviously affected. Um, a number of sources of funding are essentially gone, like hedge funds. Um, Eye banking is in, in tremendous trouble. Um, it's actually a great time to invest, let's put it this way, before many of the reasons that Carl alluded to as well. Um, there are more companies looking for funding from fewer sources, and there will be there will be fewer funding overall available even from venture capital because some of the venture capital companies will disappear. They will not be able to raise new funds. So the top is just like the top companies and the high quality firms will continue to be able to raise funds. Um, the ones that don't have a track record will not. Uh, fundraising it will be much more difficult. It already has been difficult in the last couple of years. So uh, again, I totally agree with, with Chris and I wanted to emphasize we refer to the concept of leaving safe harbors. Nothing is safe anymore. We all know large pharma is not any longer safe. There are tremendous layoffs in all the large pharmas, downsizing, uh, and then large size biotech. So it's not like there's this safety everywhere and it's a matter of taking a quantum leap. Um, I think that you have a good opportunity, you should go for it because it, it, it's not like uh, the, the old you know, Japanese model where you're in a company for 40 years, that, that, that's gone. So I think it's a very good time to invest. As an investor, you can be very, very picky. And I think again, uh, to resonate what Carl said, um, that's where quality rises to the top because we won't even spend time anymore on things that are questionable. Um, before I joined this business, uh, I was thought it was about the money. Uh, it's not about the money, it's about the people. Of course, you have to believe in the science and the assets as a starting point. If you don't have the management team, you just won't invest. Um, not just because uh, they have to be confident, but transparency, integrity, uh, all those things need to, to, to come across. And we walked away from deals that were great on paper in terms of the science and the business model. We just couldn't have come with the management team. And, you know, especially now as we're embarking with them um, during difficult times, you have to be able to, to know things are going to be transparent, you'll hear about the things you're supposed to hear about, and so forth. So it's a very good time to invest. Um, it's a tough, but the, but the bar is higher. And the bar is higher also because the acquisitions by large pharma, uh, the bar has, we are known in diabetes, for instance, because of the new FDA guidelines. The regulatory environment plays into this as well. Um, you need more data before, before somebody's going to be able to, uh, be willing to take you out to buy it. On the exit side, it's difficult. We know that. Um, the, the public markets, we're not counting on. Um, we invest only in life sciences, so we are not even thinking about public markets when we invest in companies for the next, let's say, two years. And um, basically, you now invest considering that. So you put uh, more money in reserves for your companies. Um, you really take a very hard look or whether you think that the business case is truly the company can have a meaningful exit during one round of financing. If they need to raise more money, if you count on that being part of the business model, that they will have to raise more money, you, um, you, you also have to get comfortable. Is that comfortable to be that many years away from an exit? But also look very carefully, and this is something that we are finding ourselves doing much more than even six months ago, at who we invest with. Are the other investors in the early part of their fund, or are they pretty much going to be tapped out, and they're not going to be able to participate? Because the concept is to support the company to success. You don't want to leave them dangling uh, you know, in the middle of phase two trial or phase one trial with no money left and no breathing room left. So, um, so there's exactly what, uh, what Chris said. There's tremendous opportunity because you see more, um, and, and also the valuations are much lower. People have, it's like real estate again, has readjusted itself. And right now, the public markets are actually much more accessible than the, uh, in terms of, they're probably discounted 50% compared to the public companies because of what's happening in the public markets. So we have a tremendous amount of activity looking at, uh, looking at public companies, looking at advice, um, compared to six months, two years ago. I made 30 presentations to get one investor. Um, in the most insulting day, sorry? It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> put my, my partner and I flew to Chicago. Our, our business plan was there ahead of us. We had our, it wasn't even PowerPoint in those days. We had our slides. We, we, we were so gung ho. And it was 10 o'clock in the morning in Chicago. And this one partner was reading the sports page throughout our entire time. I couldn't get out of there fast enough. <laughs> we didn't even get a call back on that one. <laughs> but persistence. Uh, the first time I raised money, I made 30 presentations. The second time I raised money was in 98, 99, during the dot com, which was a very difficult time, but I only made five. And then um, when that turned out successful in 2002, when I started another company, I made one. 
So it gets easier. And actually, one of the, the, uh, the 2002 money came from one of the uh, 1998 folks who uh, decided to stay with the management team and said, whatever you guys do, we're in. Um, but uh, the point is, uh, uh, you, you can raise money in, in very difficult times as well. Uh, I'm associated with a private equity firm, a healthcare private equity firm, and uh, during 2008, uh, all the investments made, which were five, by the firm were follow-on investments to existing portfolio companies. Um, and uh, not a single investment was made outside of a new investment was made. We looked at 2009, however, we think pricing would have adjusted, as Christina said, and it'd be a good time, we feel, that putting out money in 2009 for new ventures. It will be a much more productive time for us to, to look for new ventures. So that's, you know, a, 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 I feel um, for what's going to happen in the, primarily healthcare services and, and life sciences as well. Uh, 